Yeah, and welcome back to Duck Solar Gaming and Riverview Farm. Yes, that's right. We are back here at Riverview Farm and we are continuing on with the harvest. And we have got Combine out there running now on a course play course. And he is going to harvest that field and he's going to come and hopefully automatically offload into these trailers. So um, that's the plan. All right. So we've got that running, which is fine. Um, next job I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this guy here. I'm going to go grab the roller and I'm going to head on over and get this guy to um, roll the grass field in preparation for its next phase. And then what else we've got to do? We've got a few other things to do as well, but um, we've got to make sure that we're, uh, we're prepped and ready to help out with the combine if we need to, if he doesn't, doesn't do his thing properly with the... Um, um, what am I loading? But anyway, we'll, we'll see how that goes. All right, so let's take this down. We're going to go get this going. Um, and then we should be fine. But having the course play running, um, and, and, and certainly I'm, I am going to try and balance it. I don't want to do course play for everything, obviously. But having course play running some of these courses um, just takes a lot of the, um, the, the micromanagement out of it. So like, um, just using the Giants uh, AI um, becomes problematic, especially for some of the fields like what's on this map, um, where they're not, they're not just a straight rectangular field. If it's a straight rectangular field, yep, not a problem. The, the AI deals with it quite well, and that's not a problem. Um, but when you have the fields like this in this field, we're going to now field five, um, becomes a bit more problematic. And, um, and, that's, and that's fine. I mean, you get that, but um, the course play does do a much better job of it, so um, we're going to utilise that where we can. Not for everything, but, but for some things, just to sort of help things um, move along. So, for instance, for this field, I'm going to get this guy rolled, rolling this field um, automatically uh, via course play because it's just easier to do that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to um, come into course play. I've got to clear the current course. I don't think I cleared the course. Oh, maybe I did. Okay. Um, no, I didn't clear the course. Why is that not clearing? Um, okay, doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to create job, course play field work. Um, this field, thank you. I'm going to set my target position. Like that. Open the course generator. Uh, rows to skip, not going to worry about rows to skip. 8.1, number of headlands, I'm going to do two headlands. Um, smooth is fine. 7% uh, will be fine. Clockwise is okay. None of the rest of that we have to worry about. So I'm going to uh, generate the field. Okay. Now still, uh, because, you know what that is? Um, I'm going to start his job. Now he should be okay. Let's have a look. As you often do his course, okay. What that other one is, is if I go into here, clear current course. Okay, that's what it's going to be. So now there's only one course here, and that's what this guy here should be going to do. So let's go have a look. There's his start marker there, and he's just going to go off and do that. Excellent, fine, excellent. Running as expected. Um, there's the course for this guy. I'm going to turn off the course markers. Uh, this one here. Start and stop only. There we go. All right, but as you can see, the combine's done his first header now. And he's um, he's done that quite okay. It's about 35% full. So we're going to go off and grab the new Holland and see what else we need to do. Um, so we're going to disconnect. And off we go. Hopefully... Those trailers will be placed nicely. There has been some people have said that they had problems with auto combine on the combine on unloading um, with placement of the, the trailers on the side of the field, just varying where it likes it. So we'll just leave them there and we'll just see how it goes. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. All right. Now, what I want to do as well now is I want to grab the trailer. I want to go collect. Um, the pallets of goods that are around the farm and uh, put them in the warehouse and see where we're at with those. Um, 
I want to get the wool from the sheep pen first and put that into the spinnery so we start um, converting that over. Um, yeah, I'll use this truck. This will be fine. This will be fine. I'm going to also get rid of the coarse plate. Thank you. Right. Excellent. I hope everyone is doing well. We are doing well here. Oh, as you can see as well, that's the other thing we did do as well off camera. Um, we did put in the manure silo. So now we've got manure coming from the, um, the cows as well. Um, so that's, that's fine. So we can use that for other projects a little bit later on, um, which we'll discuss obviously later on. All right, let's uh, just grab all that. Okay. Okay. Now I am going to replace this trailer as well. I've got a better trailer to use um, with, an, with an updated set of mods. Um, and I am going to upgrade that at some point, but not right this minute in time. So we're just going to get that. Swing over here and dump this off here at the uh, spinnery. And as you can see, the spinnery has a lot of fabric there waiting for us, so we're going to see if we can collect that without making a huge mess. A little bit more wool. So I'm going to come up here, I'm going to collect what I can, which is nothing. So what we are going to do, and I'm just going to do this. I know it's not quite right, but you know what? It doesn't matter. You didn't see it then. Nothing to see here. And then we'll come up there. Thank you. Right. So we've got that collected. Now I'm going to go collect the greenhouse products. There's not much sitting there. We collected all that last uh, episode or two ago. So um, there hasn't been a lot progressed since then. So that's okay. We'll just collect all this up and then put it all away in one load. while we're waiting for the other hired hands to do other things. I mean, this is the advantage with having course play and being able to run things and knowing things are going to happen correctly without running into to trees or getting confused or whatever else. Um, at least you know what it's going to do. Um, hopefully. <laughs> Saying that, there's bound to be something go wrong. Right. Uh, here we got one up here. I've got this one, then I'll head up to the dairy and click what's at the dairy. So there is some product at the dairy. I don't think the um, oil facility has anything yet. We did offload the canola from the 7, uh, 910 field that we harvested in the last episode. We've put that into the processing plant, so it's processing that into canola oil as we speak. Um, but uh, I don't think there'll be anything ready there for the moment. go check we've got some milk over here in the milk silo there that we need to um, express over to the dairy oh there is there is one there oh there you go happy days all right one one thousand liters of canola oil fantastic all right we're gonna come over here to the dairy the dairy has some products here for us some butter and some cheese uh, more butter than cheese obviously at the moment by the look of it all right grab that out uh, i'll see if there's anything else there in storage waiting uh, no so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run all this product down from this building and as i said i do want to replace this building with another unit um and i'll just show you that quickly um so with the dragon's den pack um which is here so this is done by black dragon like i said this is Available on Simply Safe mods. I've done a, a mod review on that. I might, if I remember, I'll put the mod review uh, link up on the screen as, as we go through now. Um, what dra what this enables us to do is use some more crops. So as you notice here, um, we've got ice ice cream as, a, as an outborn product. So we can make ice cream as well. Um, we've also got a new input as well being cocoa. So the cocoa is actually derived from the Dragon's Den greenhouses. So we can put strawberries, tomatoes, lettuce, and cocoa out from the greenhouses. So if we want to make chocolate, for instance, in this dairy, um, oops, selling points, uh, greenhouses, no, factories I want. 
Um, if I wanted to do uh, chocolate from this dairy, I need the cocoa. So I've got to put in the greenhouses that produce the cocoa. So what we may also do is we may actually pull um, the greenhouses out where they currently are. Um, the thing with these greenhouses, well, they also use manure um, to do better production. So for instance, if you just have the water on the greenhouses, you'll get the stock standard production of the product. If you add manure and water to the greenhouse, um, it, it promotes better growth and therefore you get more product out. So that's what we're going to use some of the manure of the cows for. Um, and so what we'll probably do is we'll probably do the changeover of um, the greenhouses off camera um, and we'll we'll just basically replace them one for one but what we'll do is whatever the water supply is in each of them we'll, we'll replace that so um, I would expect we'll probably do that at the end of this episode or maybe the next so but anyway that's that's what we're going to do eventually um, we, we like to have that little bit of extra variation with the production um, and uh, and Black Dragon's done a fantastic job with that uh, obviously he's also got his orchards as well and in his latest update to his mod he's also got um, a fruit processing plant where you can actually produce fruit juice I uh, was a fruit juice or soda and uh, jams as well so all the fruits now can be utilized from his his orchards whereas previously um, it was only using the apple to make apple pie at the bakery um, and again that's that's another modification pack with with his pack so another another um, production unit so yeah so there's lots of lots of good stuff there to use and that's we're going to utilize that we've already been using that on um, Elm Creek and we've started using it on the Hawk Belleron so um, you'll see it here on the review as well how and where and what we do with it exactly well we don't know exactly but it will be available and being used at some point in the near future all right there we go so now let's have a look and see what we've got in the warehouse now so we've got almost 31,000 fabric, we've got 13,000 honey, we've got a few thousand tomato, probably about 7,000 by the time that finishes. Um, 5,000 sunflower oil, some eggs, some butter, some lettuce, some canola oil and some cheese. Right, now what I want to do is, I haven't got much there, but I want to see, um, whoops, I want to see what prices we're going to get um, from the stuff we do have in February, uh, price fluctuations. Not, not a bad price. We might, we might sell the butter off straight away. Um, the cheese, yep. And again, this is where we spoke in the last episode about um, raw or low, intermediate, and high products. So the butter is an intermediate product, and you can see the price, 2925 for a pallet, whereas the cheese is a high end, um, and that's 5900 for a pallet. Same with the fabric and the clothes. So the fabric, um, well... 11,000 for the fabric um, at the moment is selling for probably what about seven, uh, six, oh, probably about nine, eight to 9,000, right? Which is fine. Um, in fact, current price is nine or 10,000. Okay, that's that's fine. Um, but it's, its peak is 11 and a half. But the clothes is 30,000. So the fabric makes the clothes. So. Um, but anyway, so we've got some fabric there. I'm, I might just sell it all off because it's going to make us a nice bit of money. Um, so we'll do that. Um, the honey, is at a high price at the moment? So we'll sell the honey off that we've got. Sunflower oil is also at a high price. Uh, canola is not. We'll leave the canola. Um, lettuce and tomatoes. Uh, no, we're not going to sell those off. So, all right, let's 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 do that. Let's um, get the products out we're going to sell and we'll go off and sell them. Why not? Let's make the money while the hay shines, so to speak. All right, canola, no, we're not going to sell that. No, sunflower oil, yes, we're going to sell that. Put that out there. Okay. Um, honey, yes, we're going to sell that. Is that all the honey there? Let's see, no, there's a bit more there. Right, so what we're going to do is we've got to load, start loading up. So let's go back over and grab the tractor, and we'll start loading up. All right, and in this way, hopefully, then what we can look at doing is I can look at replacing the trailer I want to replace um, as well, and um, look at other things. I don't think we get enough money to make buy any land or anything, um, but we should get enough money to to be able to do some some changes. 
an improvement, so that's fine. All right, there we go. So we've got all that loaded. We'll blow up the rest of the honey. There's a bit more honey there to load up as well. Um, so we'll grab the honey. Thank you. All right, there we go. There we go. Done, honey. Um, the fabric. Loaded as well. We might have to do a couple of trips here. up as much as we can in one go and in this trip we'll get to see the new bridge right fabric all right we've got a full load not quite all right it's very unstable though I'm going to unload that, so I'm going to reload it. Not really stable, but I'm going to take that load as it is and we'll come back and get the rest of the stuff after the next load. All right, so the combine is full as well. So let's go, we'll have a look at the combine, see if it's going to auto offload for us. Uh, it may well do it by the time we get the, the field. I've just noticed that it's full. It is driving, so it's obviously driving towards the trailers, and hopefully it will do that correctly. All right. And again, we just we are going to take this slow and steady because these trailers are unstable inherently with a big load, and this, this is a fairly sizable load for it. So we don't want to tip it over because it becomes a pain, as we've seen previously um, in dealing with it. There he is, he's, and he's offloading perfectly. Look at that. So he's gone off, he's, he's been harvesting, and he's come back and he's offloading into the trailer without a problem in the world. Excellent. Right, we can continue on and know that our combine is going to continue uh, getting that work done. Now, our guy that was rolling is seemingly finished as well, um, which is good. And so then the next jobs we have on our plate, apart from getting rid of this stuff, is we um, need to turn the fields over ready for half planting again. So we've got the wheat field we need to turn over again and we've got these two fields where we're currently harvesting. Um, they all need to be uh, turned over, so uh, cultivated and rolled and whatever else, um, or ploughed if necessary, um, and then uh, we, we plant them for the next cycle. So uh, happy days. Right. Well, that wasn't good. That could have been disastrous. Right. Hopefully, though, the um, trip over the bridge will be far more successful. Thank you for waiting. I appreciate it. Right, we're going to go in cab because it is easy getting through here in cab generally. So with this bridge over here, we, we were complaining about it so much, we ended up going into GE and uh, we did make some changes and I would like to give a shout out to uh, our good mate Aussie Farmer um, who helped uh, help me understand uh, using GE and I think I actually helped him teach him something new too with the slope but anyway, um, small, small, small gains but anyway we <laughs> He basically uh, helped me work out what I need to do to use GE to uh, reassign this area. And as you can see, we've redone this, this roadway through here. We've widened it out well and truly. And we've widened out our bridge. And, um, and that now means that we can get bigger trailers through here if we want to. Not that we can go huge trailers. Um, but certainly, uh, a little bump excluded, we've got um, better access in through here without actually didn't really wipe out any land of any of the, the actual land plots of the people owned we just um, manipulated that area widened the bridge and we're all good to go now I apologize to Cavalier Roy uh, for butchering his map but um, his map was just too tight for me to handle <laughs> all right let's have a look and see how much money we're gonna make here here we go
Why have we got a wool bale there? $299,000. How awesome is that? Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Well, that's that's better than what I thought it was going to be. I mean, it was a fair bit of fabric there, but um, that is that is excellent. Excellent. Right. Oh, I'm happy with that. Right. Except for this bloody bale. I don't know how this got there. Anyway. So obviously when I was loading up from the warehouse, I didn't notice it. Right. As you can see, nice and wide. I can I can swing on round and I've got plenty of room. So it's excellent. Very happy with how that turned out. And obviously, it means um, there's less chance of me uh, flipping the bloody thing over. All right, off we go. Back to the farm, we'll grab another load, get rid of that, and uh, and we'll be good. That's a bit of a bonus, some bonus money. Excellent. So, I mean, that's that was primarily from, from the fabric, I mean, generally. Um, Imagine if we had that much in the way of clothing to sell, it'd be, it'd be even bigger again. But um, yeah, that's um, that's good, and that's that's obviously the bonus too. I mean, we're selling it at the high high price time, or very close to for most of those products. So um, you do get a lot better bang for your buck as well, generally speaking. All right, combine's back at work nicely. I'm going to go through this way. I'm going to shortcut through. Right, oh, I can't because I've got a pallet on. Ah, I was going to do a cheaty cheat and just go through the field, but I can't do that because I've got a pallet on the trailer. Right, silly duck. Anyway, we'll go up this way. But yeah, that's that's good. It's good that it's working. I'll go down this way. Um, but yeah, so he's doing well through there. We've offloaded into there. So things are happening nicely. It's excellent. Really happy with that. Excellent. All right. So this has turned out to be um, a good a good uh, day. I mean, I started off the day. I did record the first episode. I start with well, the first first one I was recording today. I was going to um, say uh, I'm just going to go dump this up in here. Just get rid of it. Um, and we had nothing but problems with course play for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't know what. Oh, I, yeah, it was just a couple of little issues I had with, with what I was doing with the farm. And anyway, so we we fixed that up, <clears throat> and um, that was all well and good. I think this, you know, the same problem with this bale here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to digress. I'm just going to grab this. Move it there. No. Okay, um, yeah, and we just had some problems with what we were, we were trying to do and set up, so um, we ended up um, blowing that recording away. I've only got one pallet left, that was poorly planned. Um, yeah, so we blew, we blew that away and then um, and then we started again and we, we were fine after that, so eggs, I didn't check the eggs. Um, butter, we're going to sell the butter. Okay. Um, uh, what have we got left? Canola. Yeah, you know let's sell the eggs as well. Why not? We'll just sell it all. Sell it all! Alright. Okay. Another loop, pick it all up. We'll also pick up the honey that's sitting here at the end of the warehouse as well while we're here. I'll take that in as well. Okay. Alright. So this won't give us anywhere near as much money in this load, but um, it clears everything out. So that's... Alright, off we go again. Let's see what money we can make from this load. So just on 300000 for the first load. Um, this will tell us what we make total. But, and like I said, it's a, it's a nice surprise. Um, we weren't expecting to, uh, in fact, I wasn't even really expecting to sell anything in this episode. So, 
um, it's a bonus in that regard um, but uh, it is the time to sell it so um, I'm glad we've done it now instead of forgetting about it and then trying to sell it in May or June or something when we've needed money I mean we're short of money anyway um, so we needed to do something to make some money and so there you go so you know, we've got some money behind us and this time we're just not going to spend it all in one go well maybe I can't guarantee that at all Right, as we try wiping out the bridge. Right, I right, can get out there before you come around that corner, I'm sure, yep. Right. Off we go. So I reckon this will probably make us around maybe 70, maybe 70,000 thereabouts. Um, it's only a single layer of the, the three layers we normally can have of this trailer, so um, there is a bit of linen there, or fabric. Um, yeah, so yeah, I reckon about $70,000 will be around what we're looking at getting for this load. So we'll, we'll see how close we go. I did toy with um, widening this area as well, just this, pulling these, some of these fences back a little bit, but I went, nah, you know what? I, I still want it to stay relatively true to, to Cavalier Roy's design, so um, we did uh, leave that, even though I catch the trailer on the fences occasionally, like then. Um, but, uh, you know, that's just part of what it is. It's, it's part of the draw of this map, I guess. Um, this one here was just causing me too much grief and that's why I changed this, but um, hopefully, hopefully Roy doesn't mind too much. My good mate Reef, you'll probably be sitting there scoffing at me. Why did you change it? There was nothing wrong with it. <laughs> oh, Reefy does love this, mate. Alright, so let's uh, see what we're going to make. A little bit better, 112,000. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So there you go. So we we effectively made 400. And, well, not effectively, we did make 412,000 dollars per take um, in this episode just from selling that stuff off. So I think between um, harvesting the fields, getting the field rolled, and then selling off the products, we've had. Uh, quite a good episode and that just means in the next episode because we're at the end of this one basically um, we can really look at um, what our next plans are going to be and um, and deal with that I do also want to have a look and see what equipment's available not that I need that much more equipment um, but as we expand the farm out we are going to need to get um, some extra equipment because we're going to have extra people employed possibly and all that sort of stuff so um, yeah we need to keep an eye on that if we get good deals um, at the used vehicle sales, then we'll, we'll jump on them where we can. So, um, yeah. One of the things I did want to mention though with horseplay, and I, I didn't realize this myself, and one of the reasons why um, we, we stuffed up with the first episode is we went from having nine, ten thousand, uh, it was actually a little bit more than that. We had about, I think we had about fifteen thousand cash behind us when we started a horseplay course, and all of a sudden we were negative. Um, there is an option in there about um, repairing that when you start a course play course it will repair the vehicle um, as you start the course and that's what it did with with the combine and it, it spent 15 16 thousand on the repair bill and therefore the money then went to negative and we couldn't run the combine course but we lost all the money um, in the repair so um, i've since turned that to do not repair and uh Unless you're aware of it and you're happy to keep it there, um, just go and check that out in the settings of course play. Um, it's, a, it's a bit of a, a bit of a catch that may may get you if you're not prepared for it. So if you're using a tractor to, to pick up some stuff or, or doing some, some mowing or something and you know it's getting low, 
uh, on the maintenance aspect and you, you have to spend some money but you're waiting to bring in a crop well if you think I would do something with course pay with it you'll all of a sudden have no money so um, so yeah but anyway live and live and learn so uh, yeah we've, we've learned from that mistake all right there we go so we can leave him here now and what we're going to do is we're going to have a look around to see how things are going at the farm generally um, what do we got? We got six, six animals. We've got 3,600 milk in here. We've got um, the robot is off feeding again, which is fantastic. So health is 100%. Food, they've got 120,000 food. Um, we are going to need to get some mineral feed. So I'm glad we've got some money. We have to buy some mineral feed and bring that in. So we can do that in the next episode. Um, we've got some manure building up there, which is fine. Um, how are the sheep going over here? Um sheep are doing okay in fact what i might no i'll do the mineral feed off camera and we'll we'll transport that in the next next episode um so there like that that's that's okay all right uh how are we going for hay over here uh 312,000 grass in here and we've got 38,000 hay um that'll quickly go now we have got uh, so these uh what have they got three and a half thousand litre bales and we've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 19, 21, 23. Um, so we've got 23, um, what's that? That's at least 60 odd thousands, 600,000. 600,000 litres, is it? I can't remember. Anyway, we've, we've, got, we've got enough. 23, yeah, it'd be 600, no, uh, 60,000. Anyway. Whatever it is, we've got enough silos for the moment, so it's okay. As you can see here, um, we're going to need some more hay in here soon. The straw for both internally and here for feed is okay, so we're all good. All right, let's go over and... Oh, well, uh, what I was saying about course play um, isn't necessarily true. He obviously had some trouble here. Hmm. It's very interesting. All right, let's let's see how he went. Uh, let's go near a spray point. Wonder why he turned like that. He must have just had some issues with that turn. Let's see what the options are. Have we got that turning. Um, only turning on the field. Um, He's not doing a really good job of turning, is he? Do what he does with this turn at the other end, because it'll be it'll be similar to that turn. That, Thought he'd finished early, but he's he's not done bugger all really. So we'll just have a look and see how he goes. But anyway, we're going to sign off from here as we watch this uh, finish off. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to press that like button or the dislike button if you like the episode. And of course, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing by pressing that subscribe button. If you press the subscribe button, please also make sure you press that alarm notification icon as well, so you're made aware of when new videos like this are available on the channel. No, it was just probably that one term was the only one he's going to stuff up, seemingly. Anyway, um, yeah, don't forget to come join us on Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and Facebook. We'd love to have you there, and details are down below in the description. But, of course, most importantly, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Duck Solar Gaming and Riverview Farm. See you all later. Bye.